Hi guys, I want to go quickly for uh, the quiz from number 8 on summations. It's rather simple, so I'm not going to be too too much uh, saying about it. We have seen on the homeworks. So, a couple of examples. So, one thing you're going to get is something where you have to use the table that I have already copied for you. So, for instance, here's the question. Suppose you have to copy it to do this. So, i going from 10 to 20, 2 times 3 to the power i. So what is the deal here, what you always have to pay attention to, is that in the tables, the um, the formulas always start from uh, the beginning, In often this is just 1 or 0, depends a little bit, so be, be careful that you look at the right thing, right? And so we have to now uh, apply this, this uh, formula, and so of course we are dealing with the first one here, and the first thing, of course, that you have to determine here, what is A going to be? A is going to be that constant 2 that we multiply. That's just a fixed 2 there. And then the ratio with which we multiply is 3. Okay, I hope you see this. So we can apply the formula, except that this would give us... So what, if, what does the table give us? It gives us this value. And so let's work it out what that would be. That would be 2 times... Uh, R, that is 3 to the power 1 higher than the index, right? So this, this n becomes n plus 1, so this 20 will become 21. Uh, minus 2 divided by 3 minus 1, that is 2. Okay, you can simplify, it will be 3 to the 21 minus 1, but which is really a huge number, so I'm not even going to really uh, spell that out. But it is too big, because this is we going from uh, 0 to 20, but we really want to go from 10 to 20. So what is it that we do too much? What we have here, so let's put 9 here. So where should we uh, subtract? Is this part that we have to subtract from 0 to 9. So we should also calculate from 0 to 9, 2 to the 3i, and that is then same formula, 2, 3 to the power 10 minus 2 divided by 2, okay? This is a 2 times, right? Um, again, 10 because it's uh, always in the formula 1 higher than the than the upper bound. Okay, so that's, uh, again, we can divide out the 2. Remember, if you divide out 2, it's cancelling all the 2s, right? Right, in a, dividing in a sum is always dividing each of the terms by, by the denominator. So we get 3 to the 10 minus 1. So we see that this, this sum is equal to this one minus that one. So that is, uh, let me make space here. That is uh, 3 to the power 21 minus 1 minus 3 to the power 10 minus 1. And you can even, I mean, for those that like pretty pretty results, you can actually, that ones cancel out. But again, these are huge numbers, so it's, it is no point in actually working out these numbers. Okay, so that is, and so we, we, I can, I will do something like that with one of these formulas. Uh, what I'm trying to say is pay attention to the fact that you have a starting that is not the one that is actually given into the um, tables. And that if, if that's not the case, then you have to adjust it. That's what the only thing I want to say. Okay, and another one that uh, type of problem that I also we also already looked at in the um, homeworks is a nested summation. So suppose we have the summation for j going from one to four, and then inside we have a summation from i from one to three. There is no reason that the i has to be in front first the i and then the j, right? These are just names of variables of indices or or, or, or counters. And we can name them whatever we want, and say we would have to call here um, j plus i square. Just making this up. So let's see how the way I would do that. I'm not saying that you have to do that, but I need to see the work, right? Remember, every quiz, uh, everything show all the work, and explain why you do things. Okay, I, I'm saying I've said a couple of things here in words. But you're going to have to spell that out a little bit, why you're going up to 9, why you're going up to 20, and so on. In the first problem, and here, the same thing. So you have to explain where your answer comes from. If you just put equal and then put a number here, you're not going to get credit for it. I need to see how did you figure this out. Okay, so we have the first, the outside one is J, the inside 
counter is i, j goes from 1 to 4, but we cannot just write 1, 2, 3, 4 for j, because i has to start once at j is 1, i now takes the values 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so, and that's the end of the i loop, so now j can increment, and then we get again the same 2 and 3, and then we do the same with 3 here, 1, 2, 3, I think I made a little bit too much, oh, that's okay, and then finally, uh, we do more, right, so 4, that's 1, 2, and 3, so 4 and 4. We do this so that we have the numbers ready to calculate this expression that we have to sum up. And we have to, so in other words, for this j and this i, and going through these columns and row by row, we calculate this expression. Okay, I hope you see that this, the first one is 1 plus 1 squared, that is 2. 1 plus, sorry, <coughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. Don't say Gesundheit because I'm not hearing that. Okay, so 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 plus 9 is 10, and that now when I started taking j, 2 plus 1 squared, that is 3, 2 plus 2 squared, that is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 plus 9 is 11, now I get 3 plus 1, that is 4, 3 plus 2 squared, that is 3 plus 4, that is 7, and then 3 plus 9, that is 12. If you find it hard to do this in your head, you could break this down a little bit and you could make a separate column for i square and then perhaps it's easier for you to see what's going on here but keep going on uh, that would be 5 4 plus 4 would be 8 and a 4 plus 9 that would be 13 and then we have to take the sum of all these numbers which is like 11 16 18 uh, 25 29 30 36 39 44 46 5 6 7 8 Okay, 7, 17, 20, 26, 30, 48, 48, 50, 60, 60, and 26. Yes, I think I'm correct. Okay, well, that's it. That's the quiz is going to be, uh, I'm going to probably ask you one of each. Okay, so easy enough. I, I want to do once in a while an, easy question, an easier question so that your grades are not com completely... Uh, for some of you, at least some of you are doing very, very well, I'm very happy with that, but please, for those that are not doing that well, don't despair completely, right, try to catch up and um, get ready for, for prepare yourself better then in the future, right, there are going to be a lot of quizzes, you see, we see, we're not even halfway and we have already eight quizzes, so... In average, it will be average over all these quizzes, so even a couple of lesser quizzes is not going to affect your grade d d dramatically. If you improve, you, you will get better grades. Also, don't forget, the, the worst grade will be dropped, so even that helps. Okay, so that's it for the review then, for the quiz.